Stellantis is a multinational automotive manufacturing corporation, resulting from the merger of French automaker Group PSA and the Italian American automaker Fiat Chrysler Automobile, following a completion of a 50 to 50 merger agreement. This company is registered in Netherlands. The group includes 14 brands. The name Stellantis is exclusively in use as a corporate brand, while its brand names and logos remain unchanged. Let's quickly go back to the history of this merger. In early 2019, FCA sought a merger with French group Renault. And reached a provisional agreement with the company. However, the French government did not support the agreement, and the proposal was declined. Subsequently, FCA approached the PSA. The merger officially agreed in December 2019, which will create world's fourth largest automaker by volume, and result in an annual cost saving for about. 3.7 billion euro or 4.2 billion U.S. dollars. In December 2020, the European Union announced its approval of this merger, and it was confirmed finally on January the 4th, 2021, after votes of shareholders from both companies, and the deal completed on January the 16th. Which was yesterday. The combined company will be trading its common share on the Italian stock market and the French stock market on the 18th of January, while the listing in the New York Stock Exchange will occur on the 19th of January under the sticker symbol of STLA. Given. All the possible integration plans and actions, from the perspective of an automotive professional with 20 plus years of experience, I think there are at least a couple of challenges that they will have to face. First, overcapacity. It is clear that the new company, Stellantis, would have to streamline the combined organization. And reduce the redundancy in the overhead management structure, as well as rationalize the R&D footprints of both PSA and FCA. More importantly, the manufacturing footprints and capacity need to be realigned with the market segments in terms of region and the product that they are going to target. Second, competition among their own brands. It is also clear that the combined new company will maximize sharing of product platforms across different brands and different regional markets. Same for the supply chain that both FCA and PSA already have. However, some of the brands, as they remain unchanged after merger. Will compete with each other in similar market segment. Repositioning and realignment will certainly be an issue that have to be seriously addressed. Thirdly, the Chinese market presence. No one can afford losing in this largest automotive market. In the market where 28 million cars were sold, FCA had a market share of around 0.5 percent in the Chinese passenger car market, while PSA's share was 0.6 percent. Analysts say they have been squeezed by Japanese and local brands, which have product lineups better su suited. To the Chinese tastes at cheaper prices. Both companies are very home market centered, and have failed to adapt to shifts in Chinese market preferences. 
neither company has recognized and delivered on the trends of shared, connected, and electric vehicles," said a former senior Asia-based Chrysler executive. In the recent years, both companies, FCA and PSA, were not quite successful. Whether this merger will bring a successful story, or repeat a two losers come together situation, remain to be seen. Leadership is certainly and clearly the distinctive factor.